Parkland, Las Vegas, Orlando, Virginia Tech, Sandy Hook, San Bernardino, Columbine, Aurora, Muckleteo. We cannot let this continue. You, you can't have guns in school and it's really not safe. No matter whoever has a gun, even if it's for protecting, you can't bring it to school. No more silence and gun violence! I want to thank these young people. So often we, that's right, let's give it up for them! Our children deserve the right to go to school every single day and feel safe, and it's up to us to make sure that that happens. Action not words! Action not words! Did you know that one of the first things I do when I enter a new room is look for a place to hide in case there's a shooter? I'm done with fear being my first instinct. It's not just in schools where you see this, some of this violence show up. It's in movie theaters, it's in sporting events, it's at concerts. Being a father of an African-American um, daughter and then being a teacher here in the city, I um, just wanted to bring light to the lives that are forgotten and it's oftentimes black children, um, black youth. I want to tell you young people that I am so proud of you but I want to remind you of a couple things. It can't stop after today. Social change takes time. Enough is enough. You have to continue to demand change until you get it. That was Tacoma to Snohomish County now, where a March for Our Lives drew people to the Courthouse Plaza in Everett. There was also a voter registration drive. The march comes ahead of a community coffee event with Democratic Congressman Rick Larson slated for tomorrow.